During the 1870s, Death Valley witnessed a significant advancement in the transportation of borax, a valuable mineral. To traverse the arid and vast Great Basin Desert, sturdy caravans pulled by teams of 20 mules were employed. Notable among these muleteers was Black Elk, who played significant roles in two crucial historical events in the United States, the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876 and the Ghost Dance Movement in 1890. In the 19th century, photography played a significant role in documenting life on the American frontier. This included depictions of prostitutes in their quarters, who often posed to showcase themselves in front of the camera. A notable example of this trend can be found in an Alaska-based image from the 1890s, in which these women are featured prominently in the photographic composition. Cowboys, adapting to the demands of their environment and profession, made various choices regarding the use of chaps, coverings worn over pants to protect the legs, a photograph of a cowboy from Caldwell, Kansas, exemplifies this aspect of cowboy culture. This image became famous as the last recorded image of George Armstrong Custer, who was notorious for his vanity and affinity for being photographed throughout his life. In Miles City, Montana, an elegantly decorated room inside a brothel served as the backdrop for a photograph featuring two women posing for the camera. At the time, the town, with approximately a thousand residents, had garnered a reputation for a lack of morality and the absence of legal order. Sue Quanna Parker, a prominent Comanche leader, had a remarkable and highly symbolic journey. His mother, Cynthia Ann Parker, a white woman, was captured and assimilated into the Comanche tribe as a child. Kwana emerged as a central figure in Comanche resistance during a turbulent period when buffalo hunters began to encroach upon and threaten the traditional lands of his people. Olive Oatman is famous for her extraordinary tale of survival and adaptation. She was captured by members of the Mojave tribe, and during her captivity, she received a distinctive chin tattoo made with blue cactus ink, a traditional custom of the tribe. The popularity of daguerreotypes, an early form of photography, began to wane with the introduction of the more affordable ambrotype, an image on a glass plate during the 1850s. An ambrotype depicting an anonymous man is considered one of the most captivating portraits of the American West. Joella Irwin, a pioneering cowgirl in the early 20th century, gained notoriety for her achievements in rodeo and equestrian competitions. A cabinet card from 1884, a popular form of photography at the time, features an image taken on the San Carlos Reservation in Arizona and is notable for being the first known photograph of Geronimo. Jesse James, an iconic member of the famous James Younger Gang, is a legendary figure from the wild era of the American West. His life came to a tragic end in 1882 when he was assassinated. In Greenwood County, Kansas, a group of pioneers can be seen taking a midday break on their journey. They have settled by their covered wagon, a widely used means of transportation for those seeking new opportunities or land during that historical period. Kit Carson, an iconic figure in the history of American frontier expansion, led a life filled with adventures and played significant roles as a fur trapper, explorer, mountaineer, and guide for celebrated explorers. In an image believed to have been taken around 1880, the identities of the people portrayed remain a mystery, but several historians suspect that it might depict John Kinney, who gained notoriety for his criminal activities in 1875 as the leader of an infamous gang of thieves in southern New Mexico. Pearl Hart, a remarkable figure in the history of the Old West is known for her involvement in one of the last stagecoach robberies recorded during that era, which took place in 1899. Her audacious act and subsequent publicity made her a prominent figure across the country. Rose Dunn, better known as the Rose of Simarin, made her mark on history at the age of 15. 
when she purportedly aided her boyfriend, an outlaw, during a shootout between law enforcement and criminals in Leslie, Oklahoma territory. Tiberio Vasquez, a prominent figure in the history of Hispanic outlaws in the Old West, built a long and notorious criminal career. A photograph believed to have been taken around 1865 captures the image of this infamous outlaw. Before becoming a successful cattle businessman, Texas John Slaughter built a remarkable career as a Texas Ranger during the Civil War. Later, he established his final ranch near Douglas, Arizona. A notable photograph from this period captures this chapter of his life. A recently discovered photograph provides an intriguing glimpse of a woman who appears to be a cattle rancher dedicated to cattle driving in an unspecified location in the American Old West. The discovery of this image is credited to Mark Lee Gardner, who found it in an antique store located in Missouri. Bill Doolin's passing was as violent as the rest of his wild bunch. As with him, all their deaths were by gunshot. Photo was first published in 1896 and is in the public domain. The Texas Rangers, a legendary law enforcement agency in the state of Texas, have origins dating back to the early 19th century. The Rangers played a crucial role in Texas history, specializing in pursuing fugitives and maintaining security on the state's borders. Klondike Kate was a female professional gambler who operated in the Klondike during the late 19th century. She was known for her sharp wit and cunning cheating tactics, which she used to win money from her opponents. Despite her dishonest ways, Kate was a beloved figure in the Klondike, known for her generosity and willingness to help those in need. She remains a legendary figure in Klondike history, Kate Carmack was the Tegish mother of George Carmack, who discovered gold in Klondike's Bonanza Creek in 1896, sparking the gold rush. Despite her role in the discovery, Kate received little recognition and faded into obscurity. In the spring of 1831, Makaja Chamnus arrived as the first white settler to what is now Alexandria. Annie Oakley was an American sharpshooter and exhibition shooter who achieved fame in the late 19th century. She began her career at the age of 15, after her father's death, left the family in financial hardship. Oakley quickly gained a reputation as a skilled and accurate shooter, known for her ability to shoot while in motion, from both sides of a moving horse and at long distances. She performed in shooting exhibitions across the United States and Europe, thrilling audiences with her precision and style. Oakley was also an advocate for women's rights and used her fame and influence to promote the importance of physical fitness and self-defense for women. She died in 1926 at the age of 66.